हेलो एवरी वन दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड टू साइंस एंड टेक दैट इज स्पेस डैब्रिस और वी कैन से स्पेस पॉल्यूशन एज द अर्थ इज गेटिंग वार्मर डे बाई डे द लेवल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज एन एटमोसफेयर इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग साइंटिस्ट से इज दैट द इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ द गैस विल कॉज अ लॉन्ग टर्म ड्रॉप इन एयर डेंसिटी दिस लोअर डेंसिटी विल रिड्यूज द ड्रैग ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑर्बिटिंग बिटवीन नाइन्टी टू फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इन द अपर एटमोसफेयर This will increase the lifetime of space debris and increase the chances of collision of debris with satellites. These collisions can cause serious problem if these satellites which cost billions of dollars are destroyed as society becomes more and more dependent on satellites or navigational systems, mobile communication and earth observation. A recent study by the British Antarctic Survey offers the first realistic projections of climate change in the upper atmosphere over the next 50 years although many studies have investigated changes in the lower and middle atmosphere there has been little research on changes at higher altitudes according to a study published in scientific reports by march 2021 there were about 5000 active and inactive satellites up to a height of 2000 km in the low earth orbit This number had increased by 50% in the last 2 years. Several companies plan to add 1000 more satellites over the next decade. Satellites continue to orbit even after being decommissioned, but their speed gradually slows down due to atmospheric drag. They start coming down and eventually burn up after reaching the lower atmosphere. Current guidelines set by the Space Debris Coordination Committee recommend that satellite operators ensure that disabled satellites are decommissioned within 25 years but the low atmospheric density will lead to errors in planning and calculations the middle and upper atmosphere is getting colder than the lower atmosphere this will reduce the density it will have an effect on the drag of abandoned satellites and space debris less stretching increases uh, the life of these items The longer the object remain in orbit the more likely these objects are to collide and with active satellites along with other space debris According to the European Space Agency there are more than 30000 pieces of debris larger than 10 cm in diameter and 1 million pieces larger than 1 cm in low earth orbit It is very important for the satellite industry and policy maker to understand how climate change is becoming a major problem for the upper atmosphere will affect the long term decline in the density of the upper atmosphere this problem is getting worse because of the risk of collision caused by space debris for satellite operators the objects present in the low orbit of the earth produce light pollution due to which the astronomer who observed the space from the earth face difficulties a study by university of edinburgh has said that the multitude of satellites orbiting around 480 kilometers above the earth surface is threatening the value ecological system of space due to these hundreds of satellites deployed for the purpose of providing broadband services on the earth the low orbit of the earth is becoming very tight apart from this the rockets being released repeatedly are also polluting the atmosphere for an example spacex company is about to deploy 13000 satellites and amazon is also planning to deploy thousands of satellites by 2025 in the coming days other countries are also making similar plans data shows that more than half of the near missions in space involve spacex starlink satellites Satellite operators such as SpaceX have to constantly take measures to avoid collisions with another satellite or piece of debris in space. A study by the University of Southampton shows that the presence of hundreds of Starlink satellites in Earth's orbit will continue to increase the risk of dangerous collisions. The researchers found that there are an average of 1500 close collisions of Starlink satellites with other satellites every week. In some cases, the two objects came as close two and half in kilometers to each other. In some cases, the two objects came as close uh, as two and half kilometers to each other. 
If two satellites collide in space, it will generate a debris cloud which can become a threat to other satellites operating in the same area. Astronomers are of the opinion that the rules and regulations made to protect the Earth's environment should also apply to the space adjacent to the Earth. They believe that our space is vital to a new space-based economy as well as to professional and amateur astrophysicists. The scientific, economic and cultural benefit of space must be carefully considered in light of the harmful environmental effects of the space. He said policymakers should consider all environmental aspects of satellite array to be set up for broadband services including launch operations and deorbit of satellites. With the continuous progress in space science, the cost of satellite launch is coming down. With the reduction in the cost, the number of satellites will also increase. They said, we can launch many satellites at low cost and use them for the benefit of the earthlings, but we may have to pay a heavy price for this. Scientists associated with this study hope that their research will help in taking appropriate action to control the problem of space pollution. This will also ensure that the upper atmosphere remain a usable resource in the future. So this is all about space pollution or we can say space debris which cause environmental issues for earth as well as space. Thank you so much.